Houdini 20 brings us some new nodes to Karma, so let's take a look at a couple of new features that I haven't taken a look at quite yet. So let's just go up down a SOP create. I'm gonna make this project file available on Patreon. There's not gonna be a whole lot to it, uh, but I'll make it on there, available on there if you would like to grab it. So let's drop down a rubber toy in a, inside of a SOP create, and let's just disable that shader. And I'm actually gonna make two of these, so let's alt click and drag over. Let's drop down a merge. We can wire them both into there, and then let's also drop down a transform so that we can move one of them over. So let's move this one off to the side. And that should be good for now. Let's go ahead and drop down a material library as well as a material linker. Use that to link up our materials. Super, super nice inside Houdini 20. Let's go ahead and create a couple of Karma material builders. And the first thing that I'm gonna take a look at is a new node inside of Houdini 20 that allows you to create a Fresnel. It was possible to create a Fresnel effect uh, before Houdini 20, but it takes a few different nodes. And in Houdini 20, they've collapsed it down into one node, and that's called the Karma Camera Falloff node. And it does the Fresnel effect all inside one node. It creates a float as well as a color output. So we can wire this into the base color. And let's just go ahead and recreate the old way just so that I can show how that's done. I do have a video on this before, but I wanna compare the two in here just so you can see that they're the same thing. So let's call this the new method. Let's call this the old method. And let's go ahead and recreate that. So what we need in order to recreate a Fresnel effect in the old way is a Karma Ray import. We need a material X multiply we need a facing ratio and we need a normal material x normal so these both actually the old and the new method they are inside the material x or karma whatever builder but they are not they are not material x nodes this is houdini specific a material x node and the other one's just a karma node so they will not transfer to other to other softwares if you're trying to do that. So just be aware of that. But let's go ahead and wire this into the first input. We'll wire our multiply into the first input of the facing ratio and the material X normal into the second. And then an array import, we need to change this to a vector three. And then we can select this drop down and select the ray direction vector. Just put that in there. And we can wire this into a mix as the material x mix and with this multiply if you read through the the how-to on this it tells you to make this a vector 3 fa and then we can change that input to negative one so let's just go ahead and do that and then we'll wire that into the base color let's set this to a color as well in the foreground to a blue the background to this pink just like we did in the original video and let's go ahead and set the the new method to those same colors. So blue and then the pink, whoops. The pink. And then we can just assign these with the new material linker that works super, super well. So new method, we'll do, we'll just name these new method and then old method. So with the new method, we'll, whoops, not wire in the old method, put the new method. And we can click and drag the old method material and then assign that as well. And actually with both of these two, just because I don't like the super shiny models, let's just up the roughness on these. Should be good. And actually we need to make these the same thing so that we can have the consistency. All right, so now we don't need, with Houdini 20, we don't need a Karma material or a Karma ROP or a camera, so we can just come up to our viewport and set this to XPU, and we get the same thing here. So 
These are essentially the same thing. They are slightly different. If you want to check out the docs, you can see what's different about them, but they look the same. They look different just because the camera is in a different spot in correlation to where the model is. But if we move over here, you see that they are the same if we're head on basically. So you can mess around with the, the bias and get some different looks with this as well as the gain to get, you know, just mess around with them and get the, the look that you're going for. All these different settings, they all work the same way between the two of them. And then the other thing that is new inside Houdini 20, let's go ahead and just turn that off for now. Let's disable or just cut the wire on, on that. Let's set the color to something different. Let's do like a green and then let's make a copy of this. And we'll set this one to like orange, should be fine. And then we can drop down a mix, the Material X mix node. It now has an option. Actually, it's got a couple of new options. It's got shader options now. So we can mix between shaders. So we can do surface shader, which is what this will be. The, you can also do volume shaders and the displacement shaders. So you can blend between all sorts of different shaders now. So let's just wire those in. And then we can use the fall off, the float fall off to drive our mix. And if we go ahead and just set this to Karma XPU, you can see what that gives us. Essentially the same thing, just it's using the surfaces as a as an input for uh, the where we would input the colors basically. So you can you don't have to use the camera fall off. Obviously, you can use whatever type of a mix. You can plug a noise in here if you want. But new to Houdini 20, you can mix between two different materials. However, the one caveat to this is you cannot mix a bunch of materials together. You can only do two. So you can't daisy chain these together and just mix as many materials as you would like. Kind of sucks. Hopefully they'll come out with something like, I know Redshift has like the layered material that you can mix a bunch of different materials together, which is super, super nice. I'd like to see that to come to Material X, but obviously that is a Material X thing and not necessarily a Houdini thing. Although Houdini has implemented, you know, a bunch of Karma specific things. So let's see, where are they? Like, uh, yeah, Karma, all the, actually the facing ratio was one of them. So everything that has this little this little icon right here with the Houdini logo and with the Material X logo next to it. That is a Houdini specific Material X node. So any of those won't transfer to other softwares if you're trying to do that. So don't try to export those out, Material Networks out and bring them into other softwares because it just won't work. But I would like to see a, a new layered material, whether it comes from side effects or whether it comes from the Material X, you know, proper way to do things either way would be a win-win for houdini users in my opinion but anyways i have a bunch of other videos on houdini especially houdini 20 i've been covering a bunch of new stuff from houdini 20 so if you want to learn more about what is new you can check out those videos on my channel i also cover just a bunch of random things inside houdini so make sure to check out all those different videos if you're interested in that but anyways thank you guys for watching and have a good day